This is my contribution to the flashing light prize of 2017. It consists of repurposing two garden ornaments, the top of a frosted solar light and this solar flower thing. I'm not actually using the um, solar panel, just the spring mechanism. The two of them are linked in this feedback circuit via various active components and as well as this hobby motor on top of which there's this fan. Now on the bottom of this swinging mechanism there is a magnet. That magnet um, is sensed by a Hall effect sensor. Now when the magnetism of the magnet is picked up by the Hall effect sensor it outputs zero volts. When there's no magnetism it, uh, it has a uh, output of 5 volts thanks to a pull-up resistor. That 5 volt switches on an N-channel MOSFET, an IRL 540, so that's a logic level N-channel MOSFET. When this is switched on, it turns on this incandescent light bulb. The incandescent light bulb is, the light from it is picked up by, by the solar cell changing its output potential. The output potential from the solar cell is compared via a, an op amp, an LM358. It's comparing the voltage from the solar cell with a reference voltage coming from this potentiometer. Now it's set in such a way that when enough light hits the panel, the voltage rises and it switches off this transistor. This is an NPN bipolar junction transistor that is switching the current to this motor. So if, the, if the, there's no light coming from the incandescent light bulb, the voltage drops, the comparator op amp outputs uh, current to the base of this transistor which switches on the fan. The fan blows the concave on the side of this leaf, swinging the magnet out of the way. That allows the voltage output from the Hall effect sensor to rise to 5 volts, switching on the MOSFET, switching on the lamp. This panel then picks up the light from the lamp, incandescent light bulb, and the rising voltage here switches the fan off. Now with the fan off, the leaf then falls, and thanks to this extra weight I've placed onto the leaf, swings the magnet over to the Hall effect sensor, switching the MOSFET off, and then switching the light bulb off, and then the whole cycle repeats. Now, I could have just used the natural swinging of the garden ornament, the solar flower, all, by, on, all, all on its own by just uh, shining light on the solar cell. But I think the resonant frequency of this was very close to 2 hertz, which is close to the uh, upper limits allowed for the competition. To get it a bit closer to like, say, one second, I uh, had to arrange this feedback loop via the hobby motor and fan. Uh, however, the two are fighting each other. This is trying to swing at 2 hertz, and hence we end up with uh, not very regular flashing. Every now and then you'll see a sequence of regular flashes, and then this fan will sometimes introduce a pregnant pause. The Hall effect MOSFET part of this uh, circuit is um, powered by one of these cheap um, USB power supplies bought at uh, Pound World. The garden ornaments themselves came from Poundland. Uh, this is just any uh, hobby DC motor that you can get from any, all sorts of kits. The active components, MOSFET, Hall effect sensors, and op operation lamp all ordered off of China on eBay. Four AA batteries are powering the motor part of the circuit as well as the op amp. 
and the power for the incandescent light bulb being switched via the MOSFET is being powered from a mains adapter. And I think I've spoken for five minutes, thus showing the whole sequence does have the duration, but not the reliability to produce a regular repeating sequence of flashes.